Hey, this is Rachel with Anglers All, and today we're talking about my go-to wading gear for 2022. The products I'll be discussing are things that I wear throughout the year. They come in both men's and women's styles. That means they differ a little bit in sizing and fit. That being said, whatever fits you best is what you should wear. Men's and women's waders and boots differ um, a lot of times mostly based on sizing within the chest, the feet, and the inseam. A lot of times it has to do with the fit of the wader. Um, where it fits, you know, in the chest is a really big difference for men and women. The difference in women's waders is it's gonna allow you to fit your waders up over both your hips and your chest, where men's doesn't have that. Women's waders do have a shorter inseam to accommodate for multiple heights, whether that being petite or tall, they've got both. So men's and women's boots do fit a little bit differently. Women's boots are gonna be for more narrow foot and a smaller foot. Most boots are gonna be a size up, if not a size and a half, and that's to accommodate for the neoprene booty as well as thicker winter socks. I was recently just out in Montana where I got to use the Patagonia Swift Current women's waders and the Orvis Ultralight women's boots. I had a great time and my waders and boots fit me perfectly to where I was comfortable all day. I am 5'8 and I have a size 10 shoe and I also wear a long pant inseam. So my waders in Patagonia are an M, RM, so the regular inseam, and then I wear the size 11 ultralight boot. My street shoe size is a size 10 in women's, and I wear a size 11 in the ultralight boots and most other women's boots. It helps me fit the neoprene booty into that. The neoprene doesn't bunch up in the larger shoe and I can wear thicker socks in colder weather and colder water. The boots I'm using for 22 are the Orvis Ultralight boots for women. They're a really sleek, durable design on here. I've been using them for about two years now and I really love them. They fit my uh, big Thurkeldson feet really well, so uh, great boot for me. What I like about them is the Vibram sole here. They're super grippy on rocks, um, comfortable with the surface area on there. I don't slip between rocks too much. Super durable toe and heel, so I actually haven't had them fall apart like some boots I've had in the past. Probably my favorite boot that I've worn the most comfortable over my last several pairs. So these boots can be studded. I don't use studs yet. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with just the Vibram sole on rocks. These boots do have a lower cut within the ankle, but I actually prefer that. I don't find that my ankles roll with these boots by any means, but I do find them more comfortable because I don't have rubbing up above my ankle. They're great for hiking around, still water, small creeks, anything. Winter through summer wet wading, these boots really serve me well any purpose in any terrain. Over the last couple years, I've used different waders that I really enjoy. I tend to use a couple different waders for winter and summer and different types of water. For the summer, I really like the Orvis Ultralight waders for women. What's great about these is they are lightweight material and they have a great suspender system that you can drop down. They're magnetic and you can drop them down to a waist conversion. I also really love the booties on them. They're really streamlined for my foot and I don't have excess material in my boot. I also really enjoy the forcep attachment at the top. I can just clip on my forceps at the top here and just let them hang. I really like the fit of the ultralights from Orvis. I wear a medium tall in this brand and what I love about them is there's not too much material at my knees or at my chest. They fit me very streamlined and that carries down into the neoprene booty as well. The other set of waders I really like to use throughout the year is the Patagonia Swift Current for women. What I like about these is the material keeps me warm enough in the winter months. I like to use them on tailwaters in the winter, on still water after ice off, and then I can also use them during runoff when the water is colder. What's great about these waders is the suspender system on these as well. You can drop them down to a waist conversion. What's also really great about them is the back buckle to go to the bathroom. You can drop that down to your seat and pull those suspenders over your head. And it's really easy to go to the bathroom, especially when you have a lot of layers on. One of my favorite features on this wader is the cuff. It's more of an elastic band than a neoprene. And what's great about that is when it freezes and the temperatures are really cold, they won't freeze to your boot and you're actually able to remove them really easily. Another great feature about these waders is the booty. The neoprene is cut to fit my foot a little bit better. And what I like about that is when I put my foot into the boot with thick socks on, the heel doesn't puff out the back. Another feature in these waders is the waterproof pocket. I've been known to drop into the water and uh, get my phone wet at times. It's been a really awesome feature to keep 
my phone dry. All of the waders that we've talked about and all the ones that I've used in the past, they're year round wader, but I really love to use two separate pairs because I feel like they kind of perform better in different seasons of the year. Thanks for tuning in to hear me talk about my favorite boots and waders for 22. If you have any other questions, feel free to call the shop or visit our website at anglersall.com. Thanks for watching.